your words. All right, let's talk some playoffs, fellas. Let's do our picks. You want to do that? <gasps> We're going to go through them in the order in which you texted them, right? Do you, well, do you want to do – I think we should do spreads first. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I changed a pick after I sent mine to those guys. So. Do they know about the change? Yeah, they do. We okay. do. They weren't able to change it on the graphic. Okay. Before we do picks, though, this yeah. was something that I wanted to talk about after discussing it, and it's going to lead us right into picks. But uh -uh. we talked about how – you don't need your boards yet. Boards for the next segment. Boards for the next segment. I, I just like hold mine. I just yeah, like hold it. Can I hold out? it? Oh, we've lost a pen. But you look at the AFC, Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, Lamar if he was healthy, Herbert. Trevor Lawrence, Herbert. Unbelievable Tua quarterback. if he were Great healthy. quarterback. Yes. Tua. Now in the NFC, Steve, let's take the graphic. Oh, it's, it's abysmal. Look at these quarterbacks. You have an injured Jalen Hurts, <laughs> yep. rookie Brock Purdy, yeah. terrified of primetime Kirk Cousins, <laughs> Stone Age Tom Brady, who's still Tom Brady, Dak Prescott, Daniel Jones, and Geno Smith. Uh, wow. Has there ever been a worse collection of quarterbacks no. in one conference to make the playoffs? Not the in the modern season? era. I Most of the no good way. quarterbacks are in the AFC right now. I mean, that's the They situation. are, but it's just, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is a top quarterback from the NFC. He's not in. I would, I would applaud Stafford and Goff more than I would any of these guys. It's, guys, to, to, to his question, this is a quarterback league. We say yeah. it a million times. Well, By that graphic, the best quarterbacks in the NFC – or the best teams in the NFC are quarterbacked by these guys. Yeah. The best one of them is 45. The problem is that it seems that Dak Prescott's they have really seen, good. Dak's not better than Brady. The AFC have been, has been more aggressive in, in securing quality talent as opposed to the NFC. You they see have those been, yeah. Now, but the other, those other NFC teams, what you see in those teams are, they those are, those are good teams. It, but the, guys, pieces, the pieces are good. If you look at the teams that made that playoff run, the pieces I, I, some are good. of them are. San Francisco's got a great. San Francisco, I think, has the best non-quarterback roster in the league. No question. Uh, uh, I agree with you. That. Know, certainly, certainly in the NFC. Well, Dallas talent isn't bad. Dallas got no, a lot of talent. Dallas, mm -hmm. especially but on defense. Philly. Who, Philly got a lot but Philly. who's the good Deep. quarterback that didn't make the playoffs? Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, That's it. Aaron Rodgers. He he would be definitely would be the guy. That's the only me. one. Why and he didn't why, have a good why, year. Why are you leaving Watson off? No, 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 in the NFC. Well, NFC. No, I'm just saying, why are you leaving Watson off the list? He what do you mean? I'm being funny. Here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, there's just not a lot of good, there's not a lot of good he quarterbacks. He is not in, in my top ten. Yeah. The NFC doesn't have many good quarterbacks. That's no. it, Jay. Put that on a, Jay, put that Jay, on a uh, tweet today. Jalen Hurts. You know you're not in my top ten. He's not. Jalen yeah. Hurts. Jay, Jay, I don't Jay think he's in a great year. He gonna make the, he Jalen gonna, Hurts is the best quarterback in the NFC he based on this year. He's going to MVP. Yeah, I'm still not. I'm still no, not there No, he's not going to win the MVP. I'm it's going to be Mahomes. Mahomes is going to win. Because Hurts missed the last few games. Yeah. Well, and Mahomes. And, and, and don't they got an NFC Offensive Player of the Year or something? Yeah, no, it's just not. They, they don't do AFC, NFC for that. Yeah, no, the, it'll, it'll, it'll be Mahomes. You took Jefferson away. Jefferson will win the player of the year. His best wide receiver. You took him away. And. His numbers are Patrick Mahomes' numbers. And he still does things in the league that no other quarterback can do. Yeah. And well, we're starting to see a lot of guys start throwing from different arm slots. He's made that wildly popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Young did that a little bit back in the day, I, but Mahomes the one thing I'll say, trademark. Can you bring up that list of NFC quarterbacks again? Are we going to rank them? Let's rank them. Yeah, just well, let's rank Let me them. just say this. First of all, Brock Purdy, say what you want. Like, we can't say he's a bad quarterback. No, we can't. We don't know the only yet. time he's played, he's played really well. He's played very well. Just because he was drafted late and we, he had no expectations. He's not, he's not seventh on my list. Like, if they make a run, he's starting over Trey Lance next year. Yes, absolutely over Trey Lance. Trey Lance hasn't proven anything. No. Trey Lance was abysmal when he played. Now, they lose in the first round to the Seahawks. Okay, different story, but I don't think that's going to happen. You know, Kirk Cousins and Dak Prescott are... Rank them for us. What's your one through seven? Based on this year? Like right now. Right now. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't think you can just do this year. I don't. I, you know, because we're I, in the I, playoffs and that experience means right. something. We're going to well, go around. Rank up in confidence you have for the playoffs. All right. I'll say, I mean, I don't have confidence in any of them besides Brady. That's but the point. I'll say Brady won, uh, Hurts two. But I, I'm i going to say Prescott two because I think Hurts is hurt. So, I'll say Hurts three. I don't have any. I'll say Purdy four. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have confidence. Okay, in that's there. really high. Uh, and then uh, Cousins is last, and so oh. I'll say over Smith and Jones. Yeah, I'll say Jones five. I don't have any faith in Cousins in a big spot. Wow. You talk about him personally. He's got better talent around him than those right. guys do. Yeah. But the question was, who do you got faith in? 
Yeah, well, I just thought we were ranking the quarterbacks. Okay. I didn't know we were doing it in, t- in terms of faith in the yeah, quarterback. Yeah, I, I kind of changed that. I'll, yeah, I know, because okay. my, yeah. my criteria was different. You said rank the quarterbacks. Here are mine. Tom Brady won, and it's not an argument. Do you know that in all stages of the quarterback, oh, uh, of uh, the playoffs? What do you mean it's not an argument? Not an argument. I mean, he's been terrible. He's got seven no, Super Bowl rings. I talk about his, I talk the last about, I three weeks. Are we just talking about the season? Or no, we just, everything. Ball of wax. You talk, everything. You're talking totality. You can't you're just in the, the NFC. You're yeah, talking totality. Just in the NFC, of course. You're talking yeah, yeah. totality. Everything. Tom Brady, the quarterback versus Jalen Hurts, I guess the quarterback. You just factor it in whatever you want to Here's why I do this. He's played in more playoff games than any other quarterback. He's won more playoff games than any other quarterback. He's won more Super Bowls than anybody. You're talking about body of work. But But this year, even off. None of those other NFC quarterbacks have done anything in the playoffs or haven't been there. No. So, and and, and by the way, like, I I know that my eyes showed me times this year where Brady was ineffective and missing passes. However, the last two weeks of the season, when Tom Brady said, let me find that playoff switch. Why is it that nobody can just say the truth? He's been awful. Uh, no, the last two weeks he hasn't. He hasn't been awful. Go look at his numbers look at the his last numbers. two weeks. I, just, I, was, I was driving in today, and they ran through his numbers. They're awful. For the season, he was not good. They're awful. However, however, if you look at Shannon the season, Shannon he Sharp has killed him today. I mean, he was okay. awful. Touchdowns and nine Ranking well, so eight, hold on, 18 hold on. here, 25th here year. Here are the numbers in a vacuum, okay? If I told you these are Deshaun Watson's numbers next year, you'd do backflips. Yeah, but Read them. He threw for 4,694 yards, 25 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Dude, that's unreal. Those are not awful. Man, so let me he know. wasn't Tom so, Brady. So, so, he wasn't so, Tom so, Brady, so, but when I'm watching these games. They don't add up to nothing. When I'm watching them games. 4,500 the, yards? The, the Buccaneers struggled a lot. They couldn't even score in the red zone. They did. Hey, they didn't score enough. I I, I think we're good. Hey, listen, he wasn't awful, but he was not Tom Brady. Here, here's a point I want to make he about was, his playoff okay. years. Yeah. Jay, final point his, on Tom Brady, then we'll get back to ranking okay. quarterbacks and picks. This is his worst winning percentage in any round of the playoffs. Wild card. Yeah. Div, uh, uh, divisional round. Um, championship round. Super Bowl. His worst winning percentage in any of those rounds is the wild card game. Yeah. He's four and two. So his worst round is 667. He's that, by the way, flaw in the NFL. It's a joke that the Cowboys are the road team in this game. It is. It's absurd. They it is. They should fix that, but they won't. Uh, Brady's never been an underdog at home in the playoffs ever. Ever. This is the first time yep. ever. I actually, it makes no sense, but I actually think the Cowboys are going to win this game. Cowboys will win this game. I think Easy. the Bucs are going to win. We'll make our picks in yeah, a second. I'll quickly run through my rankings. Brady won, Hurts two, Prescott, Cousins, Smith, Purdy, Jones. Jones is abysmal, guys. He's actually been okay. He's been really good he's this been, year. He's been better this he's year than this year. any he's point got no of his talent career. Around him. He has been receiver. better this year, but I just think I'm that not a believer long term, but he's been all right where's, this yeah. year. Where's my list at? Where's it? Where's it at? Here, put him back up here. Yeah, because I, I here I watch these Buccaneers be playing and I don't like their offense. They couldn't run the ball. They can't score in the red zone. Brady has been off for more throws than I've ever seen in my lifetime. He has good numbers, but Hurts is number that, Part of the reason he's thrown for all his yards is because he's thrown the ball more than any quarterback in the league. They have no running game, and None. he still threw yeah. for 4,500 yards when defenses knew what they were going to do. Give me Hurts number one. I got. I gotta have Hurts number one. Damn. Uh, yeah, he, he he's he's been he has the best uh, supporting cast. He has receivers. They can run the ball. And I like their defense. But I'm I don't know. Really, I'm worried about him being healthy. That's yes. my problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Either. We gotta Hertz. get the pick. So rank yeah. this quick. That that Prescott is two. Then you gonna go give me give me Purdy at three. Oh, I, I love that you guys are burying Tom Purdy Brady. at three. Uh, no, at number four, Purdy over Brady. Yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cousins is then coming in, and then Tom Brady is gonna come in right at uh, I think that's what six or, or fifth. Tom Brady is five, and then to round out what we doing. I'm gonna go with Smith and then Jones. Mm. And Brad, right. bring up your list so I can hit you off real quick. I'm gonna go from bottom to the top. Seven through one. Yep. Bring up that list, it's please. Coming. Yep. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. Bring like four or five. All right. I so, bo- bottom of the list is Tom. Bottom of the list is Jones. Followed by Cousins. Mm. Followed by Smith. Followed by per, uh, Purdy. Followed by Brady. Prescott at two. Hertz at one. Based on the totality of just this year. I'm not doing a whole body of work. I, I'm only looking at what I see today. Because it changes well, hell, day by day. Scott was hurt much of the year. Wasn't great for uh, a lot of the season. No, but I tell you what, I looked at Tom Brady. It was awful, right? I, I could stomach. Listen, it. I hope then, I hope by your standard that 
D- Deshaun Watson's awful next year. Who's up first on the, against the spread there, Mike? Jay's first. Real Jay's quick, first? There, we, there's six games we're picking. We only put five on I've got them on here. I can wrap right through mine. We assumed mine, so. everyone's going to pick San Francisco, except G picked Seattle. So everyone else has San Francisco except for okay. G. That's right. not on here. We'll take Jay's board. Let's see it. All right, yeah, I'm going for uh, San Francisco. Uh, in my Oh, these are in different order, aren't they? No, you know. it's just. Oh, you just wow! You just left San Francisco off because you thought everybody was going to go San Francisco. We only had five lines in the temple. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, they're giving ten points. Okay, I did pick San Francisco. Uh, I went with the Chargers. I think they're going to win the game outright. Uh, I think Buffalo is going to crush Miami. That's going to be the worst playoff game of the weekend. Minnesota. I, I thought long and hard about this. Mm, best game of the week. It is going to be the best game of the week. I mean, it'll be the closest game of the week. I don't know that it, the football is going to be the best. But I do, I do think that this is where we start to see uh, Kirk Cousins break out of his primetime shell. Uh, Seattle, uh, Cincinnati is going to uh, punish Baltimore. And um, <laughs> I've got Tampa Bay beating Dallas outright. Okay. So I know that everybody says, Why, how can Tampa Bay ho- hose Dallas? I've watched Dallas in a couple of games this year. Mm-hmm. Week 16, they couldn't score. I'm like, what, what the hell is wrong with this team? They better get their running game together. Pollard, give him some touches. G. Bush, you're up next. All right, let's roll. Now, G. Bush is the only one that picks Seattle. By the way, Mike Holmgren should be fired if the Cowboys don't go to the Super Bowl. You mean Mike McCarthy? Mike McCarthy. <laughs> Him too. Right. Hey, what did I say? Mike, Mike Holmgren. Holmgren. Mike Holmgren. I got Jacksonville. Both large men named Mike yeah. and wear big jackets. Man, G. Bush, you're up. I, 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 Peterson been doing a, a heck of a job. I, I like with Jacksonville. They're coming mm-hmm. in on a high. Uh, you know, Jay is right. They about, this, this could be 20 points. I think Miami about to get that work. Um, I got the Giants. This is an upset special. I think Daniel Jones does just enough. Saquon Barkley gets his money off. A couple of opportunistic touchdowns. I think the Giants win that. Yeah, this that is, game is in Minnesota. Yeah, and I, that's a tough crowd. It is when they're they does. played three weeks ago. And it was a three point game. I know. Now the Cincinnati, Playoffs now. Cincinnati is a landslide, and then the last one. I don't know what the last one. You was. Dallas, Tampa Bay. I got I got Dallas in this game. Um, I and got, you took Seattle with the and points. I, and I took Seattle with the points. You think a win or just cover? No, cover. Okay, that's a cover. That's a big spread. A large one. That's yeah. Cool. For two, right, Brad, and, and those next. teams know. All right, let's go yeah, with it. I got I got San Francisco first, uh, winning. I got Jacksonville. I just like the way Lawrence is looking. I've got Buffalo winning, obviously because uh, they just got a better team than Miami. Uh, I got the Giants winning because Kirk Cousins is Kirk Cousins of Michigan State. That's Kirk Cousins, right? And so, uh, Giants coming out on that one. Cincy, uh, Joe Burrow, the old Ohio State Buckeye leading the way. 400 yards. Right. He's going, going to toss it up like nobody's business. And then I got Dallas. Uh, I got, do I have Dallas? Hold on. Yeah, yeah I, got, I, got, I got Dallas. Dallas. I have Dallas winning against Tampa Bay, right? And I just yep. feel like Dallas is, Tampa Bay has underperformed the whole year. It's going to happen again this weekend. Tom Brady in the playoffs. Last but not least, Bull. Let's see it. All right. I did take uh, – we'll start with the game that's not on there. Obviously, I took the, the Niners to cover. I actually got Miami, which is an insane pick. I'll admit that. It's, I have no really factual reason to, to back that up. Well, they, they, My, did they beat them twice? But or, Miami always seems to play tough Buffalo against Buffalo. Mm-hmm. What's that? Buffalo beat Miami twice. No, Miami no, 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 beat no, Buffalo. Miami, Miami beat Miami Buffalo. Miami beat Buffalo early yeah, yeah, one. Buffalo or, I mean, early in the season. Time in the season. Right. Okay. Miami always seems to play Buffalo well. I know they there's do. no real reason to pick it, uh, oh, Miami. God. Well, the reason is that huge spread. That's it. I yeah. just have a hunch the game's going to uh, – Buffalo's going to win. I just have a hunch the game's going to be close. Okay. It's really just a hunch. Right. The game's points. going to be closer than expected. We're going to be surprised. There's going to be a moment where we're going to say, could Miami win this game? And then Buffalo will take, take care of business and put it away. Okay. Uh, I, that's the one I'm flip-flopping on. I was going to take the Giants at the last second after I sent in the pick. I'm flip-flopping back to Minnesota, partly because of my soup, my NFC Championship pick doesn't make sense if the Giants win. So that's why I flip-flop there because I think that game's a toss-up. I think the char- I think the Chargers are going to comfortably beat Jacksonville. I know Jacksonville's hot, and the Chargers haven't you know have been a disappointment often, uh, but I think actually the Chargers win that game big. Uh, I actually think the Bengals Ravens game will be closer than expected. In the end, I'll take the Bengals. I think they pull away late. I know the Ravens just won't be able to score much, but the Ravens defense has played well against the Bengals this year. Although I think the Bengals purposely had a vanilla offense last week. However, Bengals offensive line's a little banged up, uh, and I think Dallas. Listen. History tells you Tampa Bay should beat Dallas without a doubt. But before last year, everybody said, well, the Bengals can't win in the playoffs, and they did. Now, unlike the Bengals, Dallas has had the same quarterback here for a while. 
I just feel like Dallas has so much talent. If they're finally going to get through in a game that some people, a lot of people think they're going to lose, I think it's this one. It's you know, Brady. It better be this one. If they don't win this one, I- I'm firing the coach. But uh, <laughs> it's not going to surprise me if Tampa wins. But I think Dallas in the end pulls. All right. Those are our first round picks. Bo, we're going to start with you. Go opposite direction here with our championship game and Super Bowl pick. Just so it's on the record before we start. Yeah. Bulls game doesn't make any sense. We're going to ignore that. Well, fact. it does now. Well, it does, no, it does. now. He switched it does to my, now. Because I switched to the Vikings. And let's take so you've got the Vikings Steve. going to the NFC Championship No, but I have Dallas going to the NFC Championship game. Uh, and if, if the Giants won, then wow. Dallas and San Francisco would play in the second round, so it wouldn't make sense. Uh, I was not going to pick the Bengals to win it all. A, because like, oh, you're going to be a homer. And B, because there's a little part of me that I don't, even though I don't believe in jinxes and curses and all that stuff, was like, I shouldn't pick my own team to win the Super Bowl. But honestly, I think the Bengals are playing better football than anybody else except for maybe San Francisco. And in the end, I ju- even though San Francisco's got a better defense than the Bengals do, I don't think it's a huge gap between the two. Both teams have great skill position players. I can't take Brock. I mean, it, maybe it's crazy to take Brock Purdy to get to the Super Bowl. But at least in the NFC, he doesn't have to beat any very good quarterbacks. Right. I can't take Brock Purdy over Joe Burrow when the teams are that close. So, in the end, I got the Bengals beating, winning at Buffalo, at Kansas City, and then beating the Niners this year. Brad, we don't Wait, have your Wait, the Niners? Pick. I thought you had yeah. the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. He I'm sorry. The Cowboys. Are the Brad, Cowboys? We, yeah. Because so, the, so, the, so, the so, Bengals-Niners would be a repeat. That's right. I did have the Cowboys. Did you play the You the Niners? Cowboys, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the Bengals-Niners would be a so repeat they, of, like, Super Bowl 23 or something like that. It'd be like the Schwam. Twice. They played the Cowboys twice. Yeah, All right, Brad. So, here I go. I've got Cincinnati versus Philadelphia in the finals here and I've got Cincinnati taking out Philadelphia. I think although Philadelphia's play had, had played great football all year long. It's just something about when you if you get a chance to get back to the Super Bowl the second time in a row. I think Joe Burrow cash, cashes in on right. that. I think he lights it up. Got the weapons man. Mm-hmm. All right G Bush you're up next. And we'll pull it up. I know you forget what you sent us this morning. 90. Mm. Steve got lost in the sauce here. G. Bush is waiting to see who he picked. Yeah. <laughs> How smart was I? Oh, here we go. That's a nice championship right there. This old school right here. Yeah. This is Steve DeBerg versus Jim Kelly <laughs> on one side. <laughs> That's the two teams Joe Montana played for. Troy Aikman over here against Steve Young. I'm going to go with uh, Steve Young over Montana. Recency bias. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Kansas City. I think they're going to do a good job. Um, I think Kansas City will actually, you know, they got a little something over the Bills. But here's the interesting fact over here in the NFC. I think it, Purdy has a solid chance to beat Kansas City. They mess up in the last series. Patrick Mahomes comes back like he always does. They win the Super Bowl. But Purdy was it was four minutes away from being Super Bowl MVP. What a story we're talking about. Mm. And we got, a, we got a question on our hands in San Francisco, but Patrick Mahomes wins the second one. Well, I like this. We have three different Super Bowl winners out of the four picks, so that's nice. Uh, I'm picking Buffalo, and call me sentimental, yeah. um, but never underestimate the power of the human spirit. And I think DeMar Hamlin has galvanized a team that was already as close as an NFL team as I've ever seen in terms of camaraderie mm-hmm. and how much they like each other and play for one another. I think the version of them in the NFC is San Francisco. Um, Kirk Herbstreit a number of times during the Thursday night game with San Francisco has said he's never seen a unit play as close as this San Francisco unit has. One of the things he said that really jumped out at me was everybody on this defense gives 110% on every single play because they're afraid what will happen to them by the other 10 players if they take one play off. That, by the way, is a winning formula. So give me the Bills and the Niners in the Super Bowl. I think it'll be an all-time epic classic game. I think the Bills will eke it out and finally win their first Super Bowl after so so many defeats, four in a row at one point during the the 90s. Mm. So I think it's going to be a great playoff season after this week. I think this week sucks. I don't love much about this weekend's matchups, you've been high but on after bills. that, you've been high on bills since day one. I have been high. I picked the bills to win it at the start of the season, right. and I'm sticking with it. And 